going on everybody? It's James Harkness. I've had a few requests asking me my color grading process with the R5 and Canon Log 3. It's real basic, real simple. Ever since I uh, started using this thing, just changed the game. So let me just dive right in. I use DaVinci Resolve and uh, yeah, check it out. All right, so once we get our clips in the media pool, you're gonna click and drag your clip into the timeline. Make sure that your playhead is at a spot where you can clearly see the color checker and it's in focus. Go to the color tab. Now that we're in the color tab, we will click on this section here. It's the second one from the left. That's our color match. Now, there's also a drop down thing here where it's going to show you which color checkers are available. Make sure that before you buy one that it is available in DaVinci Resolve. So the one that I use is right here, Passport Video. We're gonna click on that. So now we're gonna go here, the another drop down section under our media player. We're gonna click on Color Chart. Now we have this box here, which we're gonna use to line up on our color checker. So I'm noticing that this might be an issue here. You can see that my finger is covering the green. You don't want to do that. You also don't want any glares or reflections over your color checker when you have it in frame. We're gonna go ahead and see what happens anyways. So now we're gonna change our source gamma to Canon Log 3. And we're gonna change our target gamma to Canon Log 3 as well. We're gonna do target color space, Rec 709, because most of my work lives online. And yeah, I'll admit I don't know the most about all this stuff. I always leave color temperature right there at 6500. I find it looks weird if you don't. White level is something you can change as well. So yeah, you can see that it's a little bit dark, so we're gonna put white level. I usually find the 0.7 is good, I'm starting to realize. Hit match again, and boom. Option S will give us another node. I'm gonna turn off that color match overlay. Give ourselves a little S grade just to get some contrast on the image. Option S for another node. I'm gonna add a bit of saturation. You can throw up the color scopes now. See, we can see there's a bit green there. So there is actually a white balance gray card on this as well. So we're gonna flip that. I'd like to take the node right after the color match. So Shift S will give us a previous node once I was clicked on three there. What we're gonna do now is click on this eyedropper here. Click right on the gray card, boom. There you can see that our temperature and our tint has now changed. So now I'll just play with the saturation and Bring the color boost down a little bit and boost the saturation up. I just kind of play with the colors till they look good, to be honest. And I use my waveform just to double check everything. Now, what I like to do when I'm dealing with people is I like to bring down the mid-tone detail a little bit. It helps soften out the skin tones and any blemishes that might be there. Um, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another node and we're gonna go to the sharpen section here. We're gonna make sure that our highlight overlay is selected with A, B, because it's gonna show us what we're affecting on the image with whatever we're changing down here. So we're gonna sharpen the whole entire image, and then you're gonna see that it's you know sharpening everything. It's including like all the skin, all the stuff that we really don't wanna sharpen, right? Um, but we do like to sharpen the eyes, so we're gonna go down to this section here and we're gonna move some of these things. This level, we're gonna change that a bit and watch as watch up, up at the, your media player while you're doing this. You're gonna see, I, I honestly don't remember exactly what it does, how they work exactly, but um, just move it around until you get only what you want in focus. So we can see that the skin is not being affected, but our eyes are getting sharpened and some of the hair is getting sharpened. Um, all the things that we want to sharpen. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Quick tutorial for you guys that wanted to know about this and I hope it helps.